Hey guys, welcome to The Secret History, living in your aquarium, and I have to tell you, my favorite secret weapon when it comes to finding tanks that are good for small enclosures for shrimp and other little critters, guppies and uh, killifish and so forth, it's home goods, not PetSmart. So you've got everything from Buddha, or Siddhartha rather, to the silly frogs or LED frogs and uh, fountains or planters, all sorts of stuff like that they have here. But the best stuff is usually marketed as things like this. $16.99 for, it's got to be what, a five gallon, uh, four, three gallon carboy. Um, there's more of those in different colors. And then the thing that I spotted earlier that I wanted, I mean, these even would work. Uh, these don't have a bottom, but you could mount them on something with silicone. Uh, these you could probably caulk with silicone. I don't know how much they would hold weight wise, but check these out. This is next level. This is a big old container probably five gallons I would guess and uh, what's the price on it $24.99 so pretty cool the other thing is they've got like already molded to the wood which is pretty cool glass um, different prices uh, and they've got a terrarium one ready to go plus these big old jars these are $24.99 the I would guess two gallons and one gallon jars but nice viewing this this will be great for some least killifish with a big stick in the center I'm excited uh, then they also um, have some that'd be harder to get into like those corked ones there definitely be trickier to get into uh, or this vase here but I'm pretty excited plus you can get sales and things I've even seen cute uses uh, for like a kid's room of the the water spout and you can use that for the water change on your on your tank which is awesome uh, now it's more than just the one section though I found some more stuff um, where was it in one of these sections they had more here we go more containers for like organizing stuff so um, they had all sorts of mason jars, then they had these, which were intriguing, and the biggest mason jar you can get, um, so I'm going to set this big, look how big that is, uh, I'm going to set that down, but I was looking into these too, these are just a good amount bigger, $12.99, plus they've got the seal on them the rubber gasket or silicone gasket um, so you could do one of those jars that you age uh, these would be harder to see in but it would definitely hold rice fish or something small something likes going up and down a pea puffer probably get an airline in there especially if you're willing to try drilling it um, and same with this big old mason jar which is only $12.99 also but then you're kind of competing with the texture here and the back also has texture, so you'd probably have to turn it this way. It loses something. I think our best bet today is going to be this. And we're going to see if we can get a discount on it somehow. Find any coupons online or whatnot. But they have quite a bit of interesting stuff that you could repurpose, including like cork and ornamental wood things that you could then fashion onto... Uh, the base or as a stand just all sorts of stuff like there's this cross section of wood here that's $14.99 I mean that doesn't look half bad it looks real out of place right now but yeah hey if you wanted to get real adventurous you could even use some of these lights like people used to do in the 70s put a goldfish in a lamp this would need a new seal on the bottom and then it'd be hard to service, but 
Uh, it'd be interesting to see someone pull that off. Ooh, they've got the even bigger vase ones. Looks like 60 bucks for the lamps like that. But what I'm looking for is if there's something stylish, like, you know, a lamp, small, that we can put right into this directly uh, and then go filterless on it. So let's take a look and see uh, what they have as far as micro little lamps like this one, you know, that would light it up enough. So then they have stuff like this, this is marked down 30 bucks, but you could easily just pull those, they're plastic candles with lights in them, pull those out, put bettas in them. You probably want a size larger than that, but definitely for acclimating the betta to spawn or introducing bettas to one another. I mean, people put them in charge that small uh, that's what they sell them in so there's some interesting things you could do you could even plant soil around these except for where you want them to see each other and then uh, have real plants coming out of it uh, there's all sorts of stuff you can do here's another container there that one actually has a bottom too so they've got all sorts of funky stuff in here uh, I mean heck you could even turn some of these hurricane lamps they're just fake it's just glass uh that you could flip upside down so i'd love to see what you guys come up with using your imaginations on some of these things there's a lot of potential go from cheesy to pretty sleek and classy looking stuff Hey everybody, so I got the containers home that I'm going to be playing with in the next few days, weeks, months, years, decades. Uh, just to show you size, that's a 2.5 gallon new uh, little breeder tank. But then this is the one I got home from Home Goods. And when I measured the volume, uh, which is uh, what, ha uh, pi r squared, uh, times the height would be the volume and that gave me square inches it was like a thousand and some square inches so it's it's a little over four and a half gallons this this container it's like four four point eight nine gallons or something almost five gallons and then these other ones are around uh, 0.8 gallons each so that and two and a half obviously so that is that uh these will be more like if we look across the dirty kitchen and past my reflection you can see some of the little pots that uh i've done in the past where literally i put one least killifish in there before plants were really growing much uh, i think in this one especially if we put an, a pump or an air stone in it um I'm kind of determined it's going to be hard to work in here because I can't really reach my full arm in there. But I'm determined to, uh, I think we'll do a deep substrate to about here. And then if we can, it sure be nice to have a nice slope piece of wood that came up or even up and out ziggy zaggy. Uh, that would be sweet. Uh, I'll have to look through all the wood that I have and see if anything fits the bill. Uh, but for sure, I know I have one piece that would look great in there. I'm just going to have to figure out if I need to cut it up and then reassemble it, ship in a bottle style. So um, check back in for that video. But yeah, a great find, and uh, I would never advocate uh, popping tags, but that's something that someone could do quite easily, find a vase that was the price that you thought the vase should be. Um, any case, uh, this one's actually handmade in Poland, apparently, and, uh, so that's, that's, uh, fun, and, uh, it's very thin glass, little, little worried about that, uh, definitely don't want to, like, drop a rock in it, so I think what I'm gonna do is aquascape it at least half filled and see how that goes, um, might just leave it as kind of a vivarium, uh, and ideally, if I can, I'd love to bring up at an angle uh maybe even find a pedestal type rock or maybe grab i mean i could use something like a smart water bottle or even like a vase like that clear one there and put it in there so that it stacks up high fill substrate around it and then use that kind of as another like shelf within it but what I'm thinking is using these stones. So my wife and I bought more stones. There's a bunch of mosquitoes that I'm going to feed uh, to some of my bigger fish. 
Uh, but using some of these white rounded stones, I've never used them. They're marble. Uh, they're actually from Italy. And uh, there was a mixed bag of uh, weathered stones, but there's a bunch of these low-grade marble out of Italy or whatever they are. They're, um, they do look like marble, though. Uh, they'll probably grow algae on them massively, but I've just never used a white stone. It feels like a challenge. feels like something different. I've, I've done the whole black stone thing. And then the fact that they're rounded feels like it matches... The container, even though putting spheres or ovals or rounded things within a rounded cylinder is not the most effective way to pack it always, um, it still just feels like the right river flow kind of worn by time thing going on that like the glass container has. And I like to kind of play off the vibe of the container a little bit. So uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll have some videos of me actually aquascaping this. I just wanted to give you the tip of where you can find all sorts of funky containers and, uh, you know, do lots of different creative stuff. Um, I just happened to see that on, uh, what is it, uh, the, uh, is it MD Fish Keeping, um, that he had done a spigot, uh, like a jar just like the one we saw at the store, uh, and he used that. So this cost me 20 bucks. This cost me $16.99 after a coupon. The, these were supposed to be $12.99, I want to say, and I got them also for, I think it was 10 or 20% off. And then my mom brought me this one as a challenge that started this whole thing. So I guess... It got out of hand quickly, uh, <laughs> and my wife is out of town, so it's the perfect time to get this built, make it look good, and then just put it somewhere and pretend like it's always been there. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, guys, uh, if this uh, was entertaining or a, a good little uh, tidbit of where you can find containers to do beautiful things with uh, in your aquarium room or fish room or gardening setup, uh Give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. It helps it greatly. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.